Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. W-A-R-P. Television's so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could a fool... Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? You and Myra, why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less. If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, knucklehead. What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, show me, rabbit. Um... Grrr. No, dig deep. You should be just... frothing mad. Hmm. Diseased. Thank you, thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who... Zip it. Okay, Max, you've just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad, you're despondent, you're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve! Grief, I said! Give me grief! Uh... <laughs> Perfect! Now, 
The fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my hat, or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys is over! Your honor. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam! We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left! Alright, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Moira. Stupid, no talent, fat face. Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for this show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboy, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained. Globe Theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember. Your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! They probably had it a cow. Open up in there! I know you're Let fighting there be a light. cow! Hey! Goodness, who left this lying here? Open up! Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! There we go. Life of the party. Hey! Aha! I know you've got a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la lunch. <laughs> And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army days. Say, what's this? <laughs> I I'm sorry, what was that you said? 
He said Mugu Gaipan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Oh, super! I'll try some of that! Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Aha! Hmm, interesting! That's one word for it. Hmm, there's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. What's it called in English? Cow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like. Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. Zoom in. And cut. That was comical. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was.